Very collective. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. Oh, Pound, nice to meet you. Hey, collective. <laughs> uh, I done pulled out four of these cards, and I liked what it said, so I was going to do pull a reading. And let's see what it says. I was going to pull a quick reading. Quick reading. Quick reading for, let's see what sign it's for. Who is this sign for, Scott? Oh, gosh. Pisces. Who is this reading for? Who else? Pisces. Pisces, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo. Hang on a minute. Aquarius. All right, so here's the energy. Let's see what it says. It's telling somebody, get the fuck out of your head. Get in your heart. It misses you, collective. You think someone is lying? Because they are. You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit no more. Stop texting, stop talk, stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. It's saying you think that person lied? This person that wants you stuck up in your head, in your head over them all the time? Yeah, they're lying to you. They lied to you. They, they did something to you. So, Spirit's saying you better stop fucking talking or texting that person or thinking about them right now. What else do we need to know what they did, Spirit? What else? On defense, uh, nine of cups. See, you're, you're, you are fulfilled already with yourself. You're fulfilled. See how that cuff is pouring out? That's me. That's what I do. That's Aquarius. That's my sign. What else? Oh, looky here. Your wish fulfillment. Your emperor loves you. Star. Oh, look. Your wish fulfillment for your emperor. He loves you, star. You're a star, baby. You're a star, baby. He's cried his damn eyes out over you. Six of cups. He don't know what to do. He misses you, baby. Star now. He he knows. He's got his eye on you now. Oh, God. And he said, you need to get in your strength and power. And he's going to get in his to come towards you. He's going to bust somebody's head now. He's going to bust this person's head now that won't let you get towards him and because you keep replaying shit over and over in your past and you and he's and it's not letting you come together with this man that truly does love you knight of pentacles he's been moving real slow wanting to come towards you and somebody might have wanted to put you in a straight jacket somebody might have wanted to put you in a straight jacket look but he wants to offer you uh something He's been watching and stalking and looking. Oh, he's got his eye on you. Don't think he don't. It come a lot. It come a lot. What I just said. You got play. He's playing his cards right, or you're playing your cards right. Collective. Oh God, King of Swords. Look, there's a knight wanting to tell you a message. He's wanting to. He's he's waiting for the right time to give you a message. That's why that come out. He knows that you're very um, logical, skillful, and things, but you stay living up in your head too much. You're living up in your head too much. But he's watching you. Look at his eyes right here and look at that giant eyeball. He ha He's very focused on you at the moment and ev everything around. He's focused. Six of Wands. He wants to have a victory with you. He wants to, he wants to show you how much it you mean to him. He he fucking loves you. He look at all of his love. Look at nine of cups, victory. He wants to, you know, um you're you're gonna be noticed in the commun in this community. That's what this emperor is realizing. That somebody is noticing you in this community. And that people's gonna be crying their eyes out over you, Star, because your success is so huge, and people people's gonna see because you help others to 
queen of wands. You help others to go towards their goals and dreams. You steer others. That's what I do. This, you know, this is Aries, Leo, or Sag. Just somebody who's very creative and, and, um, faithful and you you know how to get things done you're you're telling others to stop placing yourself in this enforced trap stop you got a knife in your damn hand cut the freaking rope cut the rope and look out of the damn blindfold it's real easy you can cut yourself loose 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 and quit worrying about who all backstabbed, lied, and betrayed. Everybody down does that. Stop living in that. Stop living in indecision mode. Do I go left or do I go right? Which way do I go? Well, first off, you need to learn how to uh, pick yourself off and dust yourself off and get the fuck up. That's First off, that's what you need to do. And you need to not worry what people think about you. That's the first thing that people messes up all the time. Worrying about what people say. If I do this, if I do that, it doesn't matter what people said. Stop juggling. Stop the uncertainty. Bring balance back to your life, okay? Choose balance. Choose someone that's offering a hand to you. Choose that person, okay? Hang on. Let's see what else. Outcome, 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 outcome. Outcome is Knight of Cups. You're, you you know, open your lovingness. Be open and ready to receive because somebody wants to come and tell you real fast how much they love you. And they've been chopping off everybody's heads and they might have chopped off their own damn head. <laughs> Hell, they chopped off their own damn head collective. That's how much they love you. They don't care. They'll tell everything. They don't care. Shit far, shit far. They're like you. They're like you, Star. They fucking love you guys. They want to work. They they, they don't want you, to, you feeling like, oh, I'm lost without. I don't know what I'm going to do. Quit, stop feeling like poverty consciousness. Stop feeling like that. S you sailed away from feeling like that. You're like, fuck that. I don't want to live like that. And you're not. You're moving, you're moving away from, you're moving towards something. Oh, gosh, the chariot. You, somebody might be actually traveling in a boat. But it could be saying that uh, there's just going to be fast movement happening. Ooh, and that's the karma. Karma, the wheel of fortune come out. And you, you're going to have good luck. You're going to have good luck because you're the empress. And your emperor watches you. He sees you. He sees you, Empress. That's, you know, Taurus and Libra energy. He sees you, Empress. He sees you as his spiritual. He he knows you're, you're wealthy and spiritual and in, that you don't have to take care of yourself in the physical. That's what it is. He wants to marry you. That's why it says pinnacles. Or you're all already married and you're all going to be traveling the world. You're going to be traveling the world. That's your house karma. That's your house, karma. Oh, I love it. Spirit, oh God, and, and they want to love, and, and, and you're somebody who's very loving, and look, king of pentacles come out, king and queen, and emperor and empress, you're all matches. Look, you you love. King of, queen of pentacles, you love your king of pentacles, your emperor, and emperor loves you, empress. Somebody's trying to place a zombie spell on you to whore you. like, oh, I'm a zombie. I don't know what to do. Where do I go, George? And they do this in these big old bright full moons. That's why they do it, collective. And they was trying to fuck with your legacy, with your family stability, and you have this. So that's what it's doing now, collective. You can believe me or not now, but I'm telling somebody, you better listen. Now listen, here's my angels. And then this is all I'm going to do, and it's got my angel. It has my angel numbers in it also. Angel numbers led me to my path, and I'm meant to uh, teach about them numbers, and I'm working on some more things at the moment. <coughs> Oh, wow, your angels gave you to get the lighter. People around you love you. Oh, hang on a minute, minute. Oh, baby. Can we have a number? Spirit, can we have a number? Can we have a number? 
Hang on. It didn't give no number. I'm trying to get numbers. Can we have a number? Spirit, can we have a number? Well. Can we have a number, Spirit? Hang on. Let me see if it give a number on this. Oh, it surely did. It surely did. It surely did. Spirit, can we have a number? Let's see if it gives us a number. Heck no, it didn't. It didn't. I'm going to find a number. Hang on. Let me find one. All right. Hang on. Where's that other one? All right. Here's, here's what we need to know, Collective. These are my ideas. Nobody has permission to copy. I make, I make all my cards by hand. I'm the first artist to ever do this on the tarot and actually show my art skills i think i am i'm not seeing very many people do that they'll usually get somebody else to make their cards fancy and i'm the first one to do it like this and nobody's stealing the way i do it that's my fucking light bulb moment the way i do all your angels gave you to get the laughter to people around you love you for your laughter and spirit that makes everyone's day pass with ease and uh, your angels gave you to get to speak to your owls and birds that come around your house. The birds are aware that you are a wise one. See, when you see them owls, you're, you got a lot of knowledge in you. Oh, and your angels gave you to get the joy. When, when we're living in the light, we have joy in our hearts that radiates beams of happiness out to all that we encounter. And this makes God happy, Collective. It sure does. It sure does. And your angels gave you a gift to focus your mind when you need to. You need to thank them when they show you things that help you grow and build what is needed. Stay focused. Stay focused, Collective. Because your angels gave you a gift to connect to Source. You are in tune with yourself and universe, and, and you follow what self tells you to do. Because everything is connected. See, we're all connected. You're connected all around the world. People are focused on you, yes. They will be focused on you if you start doing things like I'm telling y'all. Stay focused and build your business. Keep your hope and faith alive. Keep going and don't worry what people say about you. Pay attention to what bosses are saying and do and learn from them. Open up to divine light and spirit. You're on the right path with your twin flame and you're reaping the rewards of all your hard work is starting to show up in your life. That's what 717 means. <coughs> oh, and you will soon meet your twin flame, but you need to be but need patience. Have positive attitude and observe people around you. Hope repress representative of balance, harmony, life choices, commitment, trust, and compromise. Important decisions and changes in life. That's what it means when it says when you see two two two. And your angels gave you to get to telepathy. When you're sitting in silence, you can have full-out conversations with your divine being. And this is a huge blessing. Oh, I love you, Spirit, for giving me this. I have all these blessings because I wrote them, because I have them all. That's why I'm focused enough to teach you collective. So no one has permission. I know they're cute, and I like doing this. This is my purpose. This is my way to show my artwork. 1313, I love you, collective. And I hope and pray that you all go after your all's goals and dreams. That's that's what I'm wanting you to do. <coughs> what's what's something that we need to know? What's something that we need to know today? Harmony, peace, balance, friendship. Someone you you are balanced with your partner, somebody out here that's listening to me. You you have a friend that loves you to the end, and that's who you might be having all these huge blessings with. That's why you might be seeing all these twin flame signs. See, you, you're going to be re reaping the rewards. Uh, keep the faith alive, okay? Because you're open to divine light and spirit. You're staying focused and connected. And and you're going to uh you're going to soon meet your twin flame if you've never met them. But I think s some of you actually have met your twin. You might actually be married to your twin flame, if you're like me. And I am, and, and you know, and I'm and I'm thankful that I have a balanced relationship, and that my twin feels this with me. And I love you, twin. I love you. And oh, euphoria. Someone used to uh you know you're you like chasing thrills, enjoying laughter. You feel harmony and euphoria with each other. Your all's mind is focused, and I thank you, and I'm grateful for that spirit. And I love you so much and receptive. That's why it came out. Have an open heart, softness, vulnerability. You need to be vulnerable and and be soft and and spill out your heart to your 
to your twin because they love you. They love you, Collective. Be, res re be receptive of this love. Open your heart. Open your heart and taste thrills with them. That's what Spirit and God wants you to know because the unspoken came out. Don't let, because if you don't, you're going to live in regret, okay? There's maybe been a lot of lost words between you and this person, and you felt a lot of disappointment. So, when it, it's telling me right now, it says, knock, knock, who's there? Aren't you glad we didn't say banana? I think why that came out, Harmony, your friend, I think that your your friend, your divine masculine, your twin, is going to knock on your door. And these birds are letting you be aware of this to keep your house cleaned up good because he's going to come knock on your door. And he's going to let you know that all these unspoken words... And he's going to let you know that God brought you to him and that you, your light made his heart radiate beams of happiness out to the world. He wants to tell you that. He wants to tell you. He wants to chase thrills with you. And and he wants to uh, tell you that you you helped to keep him focused, him or her. I think, you know what I'm saying? And, and they want to grow and build with you. And they want to take you all over the world they thank you. You're a huge blessing to this person. So let them speak to you. Are you listening? Let them speak to you and don't interrupt them. That's what that's what spirit want me to let you know right now, okay? Because they they want to let you know that they just had some clouded judgment, you know, and they was unbalanced in their life, life and somebody skewed their opinion of you. That's what they want. They want to talk about these unspoken words. People were skewing their vision of you, okay? That's all it was, Collective, and I love y'all. Oh, but heart song, that's why it came out. You had an inner knowing that your telepathy was helping you. You used your intuition about this person. You used your intuition that somebody was lying to them, and, they, and, and somebody was wanting you to feel disappointment. Because that's what they had did to your partner. They they were skewing their, your partner's judgment of you. So, of course, it would make you all feel crazy and in and out. You know what I mean? What is something for the collective seeker? You are committed to finding the truth and solving the great mysteries of life. Oh, ain't that so true? I love you, spirit. What else? Oh, here, another one. Oh, Mirror, you reflect what others are sending out and show them the truth about themselves. Yes, that's what we do. You know, I can speak on things that I've done in my life and things. That's how I have all these life lessons in me to teach you all about. But uh, you, what it's saying is that is your mirror twin. That's that's your best friend. They love you. Uh you you they're, you're showing them how to reflect better in the world, and they appreciate you. They want to speak to you about this. You're their damn hero, honey. You're their hero. Look at this. You are their hero. You are. And that says you have come to stand up for what's right and overcome adversity along your journey. Oh, they love you, Collective. And you need to start looking the part and dressing for success. You need to look the part and dress for success. Okay? My, this woman, I bought these cards off. Give me that card. And I'm going to do that whenever somebody finally gets me up over 500. If I, if y'all can help me get over 500, I appreciate it. I'm trying to give back to my Collective a deck. And I'm going to give y'all a special card that I made by hand. And y'all better appreciate it whenever I give it to you, okay? So here might be when your twin sees you. When might be when a twin sees this person? Hang on, I'll tell you. My husband's awful late tonight for some reason, I noticed. Huh. Aquarius. So maybe right here soon in January, something's going to happen. And in, in Aquarius season... And that's not, it says 11 weeks or 11 months, but what I think it's saying right here coming up in Aquarius season, somebody is going to come around you. Trust and believe because Aquarius come out twice and it will be going well for you then. Okay. 
in 12 days. Maybe 12 days, Aquarius, since my sign pulled out. It is going to be going well for me again in 12 days. Okay? All right, Collective. That's all i got for you today. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And I love you very much. Here, wait. I'll give you a soul message. Hang on. I'll give you one of these, and then that's all. Because i got to make this stuff up collective. I would have read my other cards, but I didn't want to mess up that reading. Okay, Collective. What's a message for the collective of signs that is your true love from divine? True love comes when you least expect it, baby. That's what it is. Notice everything remarkable about your relationships. This is what we not just our love relationship, all of your relationships. Treasure them, but it could be a marriage. See the wedding bands. True love and wedding bands is coming dun, dun, in Aquarius season. For somebody in my collective, I'm telling you, it is. It is now. It is for one of y'all. I know what I'm talking about, okay? I know what I'm talking about. I am an Aquarius. I can tell you all. And this divine masculine knows that you're a damn huge blessing. And you're a hope for all. And that you are co you're committed, and they fucking love you, and they're damn attracted to you so big. They said divine soul counterpart attraction transcends superficiality. This shit ain't, isn't superficial; it's transcends superficiality. People is people people is in all a w e in all of your relationship and how attracted and in love that you are, baby. People is going to freaking feel it. It says marriage, a marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. See? Marriage, I told you. It's your true love marriage. And that's all it is. Thank you, Collective. Please like, share, and share my videos. I hope this helps. Somebody is in love with you and they want to marry you. Pieces.